Godly God and in Young Angels, mm -hmm. is this where you started to feel yourself developing and, you know, becoming more creative either in Godly God or Young Angels? Or where did you feel yourself start to become much more of an artist as far as both either Dennis or D. Crunk? Oh, no, I give all that credit to Young Angels. Mm. Why ain't for sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why ain't for sure? Okay. I um I think uh the thing with Y A that was so special about us is that we always there growing together. Mm. You know what I mean? We was all finding ourselves together, you know what I mean? Oh, P was at a point where P was quiet, he wasn't singing nothing. Like once right. YA was formed, yo, you, you see P singing and all kind of stuff. Mm. So it was like definitely YA, that's when a lot of my creativeness came in. Like Okay. That's without a doubt. Now, Unc, who was the members of Young Angels? Young Angels? Original was, members. Original members, me, Young P, Jamel, mm. and I want to say Renee um, at the time. And okay. I hope I'm right with Renee, but Renee was there. Cuzzo was there. He was there? Okay. Yeah, he was okay. there. So okay. that's, that's the original squad there. Mm. Yeah. Okay. OG Squad. Now, what was the first song you guys recorded? Yo. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, Ooh, okay, okay. Because I remember, not to cut you off, yeah, um, no. I remember sleeping over at Uncle Steven's crib, and he would play me like scratch and demo versions of y'all stuff. Yeah. I would just be in there like, yo. Like, yeah, yeah, but he yeah, was like, yeah, it was awesome. Like, it was awesome. Like, yo, Neff, like, this is our. Sada Kali got like those yeah, that, like, yo, for we used, to, we used to we used to have fun. Yeah, like, it was crazy. You it know, was crazy. again, like, like tell at nobody the, at the beginning of all that, mm -hmm. it was me and P in his house, like mm. just recording, recording, and mm. just trying to put stuff together. Okay, like so that was the beginning. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Then everything else came in. You know, later once Big Cav came in, then that turned into a whole nother monster. Okay, you know what I mean, okay. Now, when Cave came in. Mm -hmm. What song was the first song that you guys put out, if you remember? Oh, um, when Kev came in, I thought like the first song. I think the first song I could say that we put out there that we heard it was a song we did for a dance group called Honduran Angel. What? Yeah. I didn't know. Um, this. This it was crazy. a dance group called Honduran Angel. I remember we was in black and white. Okay. The first time we heard our song rocking out there. What? Yeah, yeah. Cause the the you know what I mean. Um, Honduran Angel they performed there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And once that song came out, man, it was just like another type of feeling. Like oh, wow. we was like oh snap, like you know what I mean. Like and it was received well. Yo, for the most part, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for the most okay. part, yeah. I mean, it was still kind of like. I think that some people was kind of like, yo, who's this? Because, <laughs> you know, again, we right. we a band that just came out of like... Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. We were right. just, you know, making music. And then we had an opportunity to make a track for a, a, a dance group. Mm -hmm. And, yo, it, just, it, it took off. That's fire. Yeah. That is fire. Man, so that's Young Angels. That's Scotty God. Mm -hmm. Now, as you have both of these parts in you... Yeah. What's next? How are you able to sharpen your skill? Now, I do recall at some point you having moments with Jimmy Swasso. Yeah. Now, yeah. Rest how? In peace, man. Yes, RIP to the OG, man. Yeah, that's my mentor, man. Yes, my musical sir. mentor, yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I know in the process of Kali God, Jimmy was also helping Kali God a lot, too. Yeah, of course. For of course. sure. So, I want to speak on how you made that connection to making your way over to each other and what Jimmy meant to you as far as a mentor. Um, as far as um, making that transition, mm -hmm. that transition, I ended up in each other um, because of Donny. Mm. Shout out to Donny. Shout out to Donny, man. Um, he was helping out in each other. And um, I remember, I think at that time, they didn't have a conga player or somebody just to help out with percussion. Mm-hmm. So I rocked out with Donnie, and then I asked Donnie, like, yo, if it's okay if I, you know, stay here. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, like, from there, you know, I spoke to Jimmy, and from there, it was just like, that was that was Boom. home. Like, it okay. just became okay. the, the crib, you know? Okay. 
yeah. home base. Now, would you say that's where you sharpened your skill? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Especially when it comes down to percussion, drums, mm. discipline, everything. Yeah, that definitely came from over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Was Jimmy heavy on that? Was he heavy on the discipline? And... Of course. Okay. Of course. He was the type like, yo, we mess up. He was always, he'll look back at us. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? He, he'll look, give us that look, and we already know, like, yo, we messing up somewhere. Like, okay. let's get it together. Like, okay. yeah. Okay. Right. But of course, he ain't doing it in no crazy way, like make you feel like little or anything Mm -hmm. like that. But he definitely let you understand, like, yo, come on, like we falling off somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, that's you entering each other. Now, excuse me. How was Kev able to get in there as well, as far as you being there, Mm -hmm. Kev? You know, thought it was that the original set or yeah, that was that that became the set after a while. Yeah, okay, that was it. Okay. Um, Cap pretty much came in basically the same way I came in with Donnie. Mm. Like it was at a point where I didn't have Donnie went on to do other things because you know Donnie heavy talented with the tambour and everything. Right, 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 right. So he was starting to do that and people was contracting him okay. to do that. So mm. at some point there was a time where you know it was just me. Mm. There was some points where I remember playing drums with no conga player. Wow. Or playing congas without a drum player. Wow. So I remember at that point, you know, Kev was already rocking with us with Young Angels and everything like that. So I remember asking him if he could help me out, you mm. know, over here with each other. And he said, yeah, like he came over and that was that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fire. Now, that's me, Chala. Mm-hmm. You sharpening your skill, developing your talent. You also in Kali God. You also juggling Young Angels as well on the side. So you basically in the main band, you have a band where you're sharpening your skill and mm-hmm. you also have a band where you could just rock out and freelance, but still also develop your skill. Yeah. So you de- have all these things going on. Mm-hmm. Now, does it become too much for you or is it something that you like, all right, I'm taking whatever's coming with this and, you know, whatever transition happens, happens. Now, what was the transition after juggling all three of these things? Um, to answer your question, it, it didn't feel like too much. Mm. Um, because, to be honest, those were all three different bands. Mm. Which, if you look at today, it, it's... It's what made my style. Just <laughs> all those different type of style. Right. So right. it didn't it, it didn't become too much. It it actually turned out to be a blessing, you know what I mean? Oh wow. That's so yeah, like with that it it wasn't too much. Wow. Now I also asked you, as far as Jimmy being a mentor, what did he mean to you? Yeah, that man that man did mean a lot to me. That that guy is a, a person that um you know, I, I went through times in Kaliga where I felt like like I didn't believe in myself in certain things, mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. it, that was hard. Wow. You know, going to a band like Kaliga, it, 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 for me, it was a little bit of a pressure because, mm-hmm. you know, that's that's you know that's the family that's, band that's and then the band. first generation was so incredible. So Absolutely. coming over to the second, you know, generation, it was just like... Man, like I gotta be here to hold my own. Right. Absolutely. But then at some point there, I started to feel like it was just more so of not feeling like you know the talent. Like I had that talent mm-hmm. enough there, and mm-hmm. not to blame anybody, but that's just how I felt. Like right. you know, there were certain situations that started happening where I felt like my talent wasn't believed in at right. some point. Okay. So you know, now being with Nichada and being around Jimmy. You know, also thought of, mm-hmm. you know, Jimmy is, is there to like, he started boosting my confidence. Mm. Now I'm getting on drums and he's telling me, yo, you know, D, do this, mm. do that. Mm. Also showing me the discipline, like, yo, you going to do a roll, you know, take it easy, do this, do that. And okay. from there, man, that, that, that was just amazing because I'm coming from feeling one way and mm-hmm. then going to a band where... You know, with a person that's showing me, like, nah, you got this. You like, got yo, it, you, right, you, you right. all right. Like, yo, don't don't overthink it. You mm-hmm, good. Mm-hmm. From that, man, it was just like, yo, all right. We that's good. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Now, I do recall you saying um, 
how, as far as a mentor, he was just big on you staying out of trouble. Yeah. You know, and staying out of the way. And you always mention, you know, the, the, the American side of you. You of know, course. that side. You of know? course, of course. So, yeah. um, as far as as far as that, was he, you know, very, very amicable about it? Like, you know, hey, just stay out the way, stay out of trouble, you know, don't get into nothing, yeah. stick to the music. That was his conversation. He was always mm. telling me to be good. Wow, man. Because Jimmy, he, after a while, he understood, like, yo, he's still, Dennis is still, you know, he's still out here on the block and stuff mm. like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and then once he started seeing, like, you know, he started seeing, like, I'm in the gang and everything like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That definitely was one of them things where he used to always tell me, like, yo, portate bien. Like, you right. got to stop, you know, being a certain way. Mm-hmm. And, man, I, I appreciate him telling me that. Because I needed somebody to tell me that. I needed somebody to guide me, to right. help me balance out. Because that's a balance, you yes. know what I mean? Yes. And at some point, I, I really honestly believe if I didn't have that person to balance me, I think things could have got a little bit out of control for myself. Mm-hmm. Out of so, yeah. Wow. Man. Wow. Now, God bless Jimmy's soul, man. Of course, yes, man. I just Still wanted miss to, my bro to today. Yeah, man. I, to I, today. I really just wanted to speak on that because I know how much he meant to you and not only just to you, but Tito as well. Right, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Nah, that, that's that, that, he's missed every person. day, man. Yes, man. Yes. And not only to just us, but to everyone out there. Jimmy's yeah, loss, you know, it really impacted all of us. Nah, man. That, that was, man was incredible in mm-hmm. so many ways, man, mm-hmm. that... You know, it's sad that, you know, now that he's not here, a lot of other people realize how incredible he was yeah. and how talented yeah. he was. Discovering you know talent as well. And of course. Yes. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot yes. of people that was a part of, you know, um, being around him and, and, and he helped them out in so many other yes. ways and stuff. So, yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yes. 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 Yes.